Good morning, it's seven o'clock on a Wednesday morning. Technically, this is our final night in cash. We actually didn't plan it this way. The wind told us it was gonna be this way. There's a very big wind coming in this afternoon. It's gonna be gusting to 32 knots this afternoon here from there. So there's gonna be a lot of fetch and we're in 10 meters of water here with 45 meters of chain out, which is a scope of 4.5 to one and I'm not comfortable with that because once the, the big wind comes up and it starts whipping around these hills it's not a fun ride in here we've been there before so we're moving down to the security and protection of Kekover I'm Barry. I'm Anne Chef. This is the continuing journey of Sailing ABC. First rain in months. It's a bit lightning too, so we're hoping that the cloud passes really quickly. Good morning. It's seven o'clock on a Wednesday morning and Technically, this is our final night in cash. We actually didn't plan it this way. The wind told us it was gonna be this way. There's a very big wind coming in uh, this afternoon. Uh, it's gonna be gusting to 32 knots this afternoon here uh, from there. So there's gonna be a lot of fetch and we're in 10 meters of water here with uh, 45 meters of chain out, which is a scope of uh, four point five to one and I'm not comfortable with that because the holding here uh, in normal conditions is, is really quite good but um, once the, the big wind comes up and it starts whipping around these hills it's not a fun ride in here we've been there before um, there's a video up there that I can link you to and that will explain it all to you so we're moving down to the security and protection of Kekova it's three and a half hours away to the uh, southeast. Then tomorrow, the really big wind comes in. Uh, we're going to be gusting to 42 uh, knots. Uh, and I certainly don't want to be here in 42 knots. So uh, that's the plan. We're moving from Cash. I'm saying bye bye to Cash Marina. And uh, we will wait out the end of um, the month of September down in Kekova. Michelle and Janan, hopefully weather permitting, will join us down there uh, for a couple of days, maybe a day, if, depending on their schedule. And uh, then from there, we will move on to our, I was going to say final resting place, but that sounds pretty ominous, our, our final winter destination of Finike. Um, of course, the season here in, in Turkey, you know, sailing season, carries on until at least the end of November. Uh, so once we've settled into Finike, there's, there's still a lot of potential for us to, to go out and, and sail the coast, and, and, and in particular the, the southeast coast, further uh, southeast coast of Turkey that we haven't looked at before. So that's going to be interesting. Right now, though, it's uh, as I say, seven o'clock. I'll show you the sun hasn't even come up over the hills here at Cash, um, but we're going to prep the boat. Uh, Angela will do her below stuff. I will do my above stuff. And we should be out of here by eight o'clock. Um, and it's a three and a half hour trip to Kekova. So let's get this boat prepared and on the move. Here's a little idiosyncrasy of ABC. We found that it's best to put the chart plotter on and uh, let that system warm up in a way. I mean, I know it's all modern electronics, no transistors, but um, it works that way. Um, once the chart plot has been on for has been on for 10 minutes now, we can then switch on the log and the autopilot and the rest of the instruments and uh, everything pops up and works perfectly. If you try and put them all on at once, they just look at each other and go, I don't know who you are, I'm not working with you. Especially at 7 o'clock in the morning. Chart plot is on, instruments on, log and autopilot on. And hey presto, there you go. Instant AIS and GPS positioning. Funny how electronics work. Right, let's get the show on the road, eh? Sun's up. 
dinghy's up. Engine is warming up. And I'm gonna bring the anchor up. Pretty interesting, dead calm where we were anchored and we can see on the shore there breaking waves uh, from uh, a fairly big swell that's coming in and that was just from that little bit of wind yesterday. Bigger wind today, even bigger wind tomorrow. We're definitely getting out of dodge at the right time. And as we look out of the entrance to this bay, this camera won't pick it up but my eyes can see white caps uh, out there already uh, and this um, swell that's making us pitch a bit so hopefully once we turn left we should have all of this behind us yeah definitely the right decision to get out of dodge this morning as early as possible as we're heading further out of the marina bay entrance uh, we're coming up to the isolated danger just here and uh, <laughs> the swell is picking up. I mean, there's hardly any wind at all, but this is um, just leftover swell from the wind that came through yesterday. And uh, as I was saying before, the wind that's coming through later today and tomorrow is going to be five times worse. So, leaving now is definitely the best decision. Glad we're leaving now. <laughs> It's like that for a while and then it does that. So we're just keeping an eye on it for now. But you know, get the 7.1, 7.2 speed. One of the drawbacks of these early morning starts when you're heading into the sun is that you can't see what's in the water and literally about five minutes ago there was a pallet, a whole wooden pallet about two or three meters off our port side. Um, if we'd have hit that at seven knots of speed head on, um, you know, I don't know what sort of damage that would have done to the hull. Not bad. Oh, 7.8. I do like it when the numbers go up on the speed. <laughs> So the wind's right on our starboard quarter. Yeah, the swell's quite woo big here. <laughs> and you can, can see the effect of the waves crashing against that promontory there. Going through the gap, Captain. Going through the gap. Going through the gap. Over there. Oh, well, the head sail needs to tack. We'll be back. There we are. The swell's a lot calmer here, but this is a really big gullet that's coming along, and you can see how he's being affected by it still. Glad we're going with it and not against it. We're just approaching the southwest entrance to the Kekover Roads area, and the wind has completely changed direction. It's it's on the nose right now, uh, whereas when we were coming across here, the wind was coming from this direction quite strongly. It's coastal cruising is just unpredictable, I'd say, with wind. Anyway, we're about uh, 
40 minutes away from our anchorage which is going to be inside inside so uh, this is inside but again we're going through that little channel and we're going to go inside and we're going to tuck ourselves up into that little corner there should be right It's a little bit hazy but I wanted you to see what it's like in the first inlet in Kekover Roads. It's absolutely beautiful. Just there behind that gullet is the castle. All the day tripper boats are bringing people out. So they're not full but they've at least got somebody in them. See how many boats there are in there already. Look how many are heading in that general direction. In the meantime, that's our general direction. <laughs> what a great place to live. Here we are at the channel markers again. But this time, we're not going over there. Going around here. It's just incredibly beautiful, this place. I just absolutely love it. Going behind this guy who's going out at a race of knots, literally. It's a race. Oh. And this is Uche's Town Harbour. And that's Hassan's restaurant. are in four meters of water and we have 40 meters of chain out let's go for 10 to 1 with it bedded in to mud so it doesn't matter what the wind does from now on we ain't going nowhere we could have gone further in there but six of one half a dozen another uh, we are expecting the wind to come from this general direction so we won't get much fetch and uh, yeah we will be blowing in that general direction, but the thing is, we're in mud with a scope of 10 to 1, so we're not going anywhere. Also, should we need it, there's the town right there, very reachable in the dinghy. We were just saying before that we're surprised that there are no other yachts in here um, getting a little hiding place from the incoming wind, but maybe they'll come in tomorrow, who knows. Okay, I'm having a salad and no bread, and Baz is having a chicken salad sandwich. Yeah, Baz. Ooh, tart. Come. <laughs> 